All right, in today's fun and exciting video, what we'll talk about is rewriting an equation in y equals mx plus b form. So this, guys, is standard form, and it's because you've got a zero on one side. Okay, now, how do you convert from standard form to y equals mx plus b form? It's actually quite fun. What you do is you move the y term to the other side. So what do you get? Well, you get a minus y, and that's because you've moved it over. The sign to the left of y changes. That's the sign that belongs to y. What do you have left on the left side? Well, I've got 3x minus 4. That's what stays. So we got 3x minus 4. Now, what number is in front of y? Well, it's a minus 1. So guess what? I divide both sides by minus 1. And that minus 1 goes to each term. And they cancel in front of y. And so what do I get? I get y equals to negative 3 over 1 x plus 4. Remember that negative 1 goes to each term. So I get 3 over negative 1, and I get negative 4 over negative 1. Negative 4 over negative 1 is positive 4 over 1, which is positive 4. And 3 over negative 1 is negative 3 over 1, which is negative 3. And so my beautiful equation is negative 3x plus 4. That, ladies and gentlemen, is example one y equals three x negative three x plus four it's that easy so if we want to move to the next example all you have to do is start by moving the y term over divide by whatever is in front of y and divide it to each term and simplify when necessary that's it so let's rewrite this, 2x minus 3y plus 4 equals 0. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move 3y over to the other side. This sign will subsequently change. And what I will get is I will get a positive 3y on the right side. Notice how I don't care about the 0 because it will go away. 0 plus or minus anything is... is uh, is itself. So um, I get plus 3y equals to 2x plus 4. Now all I have to do is divide both sides by positive 3. And that 3 goes to each term. Now 2 divided by 3 cannot be reduced. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that sucker as a fraction. And I'm going to get 2 over 3x plus 4 over 3. Because 4 uh, divided by 3 is not a nice number. I can't reduce that either. So there you go. I've got y equals 2 over 3x um, plus 4 over 3. That's in y equals mx plus b form. Remember, y equals mx plus b form means that y is isolated. Y is on its own with nothing else okay so that is how you rewrite an equation in the form y equals mx plus b while we're at it why don't we do a word problem Ooh. so the reason why i want to do this word problem is because they give me an equation in standard form okay and i know it's in standard form because there's a zero on the right side and i can rearrange this equation in um, this is in y equals mx plus b form. I'll explain to you in a minute why it's in y equals mx plus b form, but it is. Now, let's read the word problem and we'll, we'll see why that is in y equals mx plus b form in part a. An electrician charges, according to the equation, blah, where c is the total charge and um, n is the time and hours the job takes. Now, what is the x and what is the y in this case? What's the independent variable and what's the dependent variable? Well, the total charge, guys, C is y. And n 
the time n is actually equal to x. You see, the amount of hours you work has more control over the total charge. Okay, So the more hours you work will dictate how much the charge actually is. So that time in hours has more control. So now, all I'm, all I'm asking you to do in part A is isolate for C. In other words, isolate for Y. What this means is this is in Y equals MX plus B form. That's what it wants from you. So I want you to take this and isolate it into Y equals MX plus B form. So guess what? I'm going to do the same thing I did in the previous set of examples. All I'm going to do is I'm going to move the Y variable, in this case C, over to the other side. And I get C equals to 35N plus 50. And there you go. Y equals to MX plus B. I'm already done. I already have C by itself. This is freaking exciting. Now, what do we need to do? We need to identify the slope and the y-intercept. Don't get confused. C is the y, right? C is y, and explain what they mean. Okay, well, let's first identify what the slope is and what the y-intercept is. This is x. n is x. So the number beside n is your slope. Well, the number beside n is 35. So the slope is 35. Yummy. And the y-intercept is 50. Whoa. Explain what they mean. Well, remember, slope is a number per a certain unit of time or per a certain unit of measurement, right? So the slope is 35 per hour in this case, because you have number of hours worked. So what are we dealing with here? Well, we're dealing with charge, which is in dollars. So it is $35 per hour, per hour. So it's a charge per hour that the electrician is charging. What does 50 represent? Well, that's the fixed, fixed charge. So no matter what, you have to pay $50 to start. That's without any hours of work. And you add $35 for every hour that the electrician works. So after one hour, you pay a total of 50 plus 35, which is $85. Yikes. After two hours, you don't pay a 50 a second time. No, no. That's just the initial cost, the fixed cost. So you pay 50, right? And then two hours of work is 35 times 2. That's 70. So 80 plus 70 is 150. So after two hours of work, you pay... Um, 80 plus 70, 150, okay? And then to graph the relation, that's pretty easy. All you do is you start out at a y-intercept of um, 50, and you have to go up 35 units and over one unit. So this is one unit. Let's say this is 85. Up 35 units over one, you connect the dots, and there you go, there's your line. This is your N axis, X in other words, and this is your C axis or Y axis. What would a four hour call cost? Well, that's easy. You pay 50 bucks no matter what, okay? And then $35 for every hour, but then it's four hours. 35 by four, is 70 by 2, which is 140. So this is equal to 140 plus 50. You pay a total of $190. That's it. That's basically how to isolate uh, an equation into y equals mx plus b. We did it for typical problems, right? So like problems like number 5. And we also did it for word problems, which is kind of exciting. And we even plotted the line. We needed the slope and y-intercept. We used the equation that we got. 
to uh, answer you know how much a four hour call would cost and uh, yeah this is exciting in the next video guys what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna solve for the X and Y intercepts of, of a line so I like that I like that to be honest because all you're doing is basically canceling out one of the letters it's gonna be fun and I'll see you in the next one I love you peace out bye bye